then I have 28 in the whole thing. You see what I'm saying? Each one is cut into four pieces. So where I used to have one piece, I now have four pieces. Now if I had two of these sevens, I'd have four pieces twice, right? I'd have eight pieces. That's why you say times two, times four. However many pieces you have here is going to be, each one is going to turn into four pieces now in order for there now to be 28 pieces in that hole. Here, when it was a fourth, I got to cut each piece how many times to make 28 in the hole? Seven. Each one of these now have to be seven. And if I have three of them, I have seven pieces three times, right? I got to cut each piece seven times. I got had three of them. So now I've got 21 pieces. No more cake. Pieces just smaller. You see. But what you know about it, and here's what you have to understand. Like I said, this was one piece. There are two people in there. There could have been 100 people in this one piece. As long as there are 100 in that piece, that piece, that piece, and that piece. Because what you know about a fraction is that it's the same number in each one of those pieces. So that you can understand that if I said, oh, let's see, 15 is 3 fifths of a number. Think about it. Because it's not just about knowing how to do something, it's understanding it. If I tell you that the number 15 is three-fifths of a number, what is that number? Fifteen is three-fifths of what number? Think in caps. So let's read it like this. Fifteen is three of the five. That's what it's saying. That's what three-fifths means. That's how you have to understand a fraction. Fifteen is three of the five. What is fifteen three of? Five. Okay, right? Fifteen is three fives, right? That's the only thing you can put three of with fifteen is five. If fifteen is three of the five, how many is five of the five? 25. I'm going to let you guys think about that for a moment and then ask questions if you don't understand why. If 15 is 3 of the 5, <coughs> 25 has to be the whole thing. Who doesn't see that? Twelve is three of the four. What is the whole? Four, right? Twelve is three fourths of some number. That means that twelve is three of the four. It's not the whole, because the whole is what? If it's three, if, if it's cut into four pieces, what's the whole? How many pieces 16. are in the whole? 16. Because if I tell you that it's three of the four, how many pieces are in the whole? Oh, how many pieces are in the whole? Four. Four. There are four pieces in the whole. That's what three fourths has to tell you. Three-fourths tells you that there are four pieces in the hole, but you just have three of them. You understand what I'm saying, Meredith? If I said 15 is three-fifths, it's telling me there are five pieces in the hole, and I just have three of them. 
You understand what I'm saying there? You understand? Three fifths means that there are five pieces in the whole thing. I took a whole pizza and cut it into five pieces. That's what that means. And I have three of those pieces. Okay. Or I took a crowd and grew and I divided it into five pieces. Even. That's what you have to understand. Then in a fraction, it's the same number in each piece. Same number. You do understand it because when I say there are a hundred people in the room, what's one half? <coughs> because there's two fifties in a hundred, right? That's why fifty is half of a hundred because there are two of them. One half means there's two pieces in the whole and you have one of them. That's what a half means, but it's the same in each one. So you know if the whole was, uh, 60, how many is in each piece? If the whole is 60, how many pieces are in each half? 30. If the whole was 80, how many is in each half? If the whole is 10, how many is in each half? Five. You know it's the same in each one. There's two pieces and it's the same in each one. Same thing for a third. A third means there are three pieces and it's the same in each one. A eighth means there are eight pieces and it's the same in each one. So a fifth means there are five pieces, and it's the same in each one. And if I tell you that 15 is three of them, you'd have to ask yourself, what do you have three of in 15, evenly? And you knew that was five, right? If five is 15 is three of them, what I know is that there's five in each piece. So there's gotta be five in this piece and this piece as well. So in the whole thing, if there were 15 in three of the fifths, there'd have to be 15, 20, 25 in all five of the fifths. You see what I mean? There'd have to have been 25 in the whole if 15 is three of the five. Same thing here. If I said 12 is three of the four, what do you have three of in 12? Four, four right? That's the only thing you have three of in 12. Again, you gotta know your multiples. Because I know that four times three is 12. So if three of the four is 12, this one's gotta be four too, right? You don't have it, but it's gotta be four. It had to be four in each one. So the whole had to be 16. Follow what I'm saying? Right? That makes sense? But that's how you have to understand a fraction. A fraction doesn't mean it's one in each thing, even though we say one-fifth. One-fifth doesn't mean just one. It means the fraction of it. You have to know how many are in the whole to know how many one of the five would be. It can be any number in the whole. Now, if it's just one pizza or one cake and you cut it into five pieces, there's just one piece in each one, you see. But when you think of fractions, there are a lot of things that are explained and measured using fractions. Now say he did a fifth of the work. You know, that's gotta mean something to you. You have to be able to get a picture and say, okay, what they did was that they took his job and divided it into five even pieces, you see. And he's done one of those pieces. That lets you know there's a whole lot of it that he hadn't done because there are four pieces just like it undone. You see what I mean? You can get a picture. So a lot of times they use fractions to get a picture of what's going on too, to express data. They say half of the class passed the test. That sounds all right. So you find out there are only two people in the class. One pass, <laughs> one fails. But you see what I mean? They use that to propaganda a lot of times. You know, or you can say, I know one time we had a 100%, 100% of the people passed the test. Only one person took it. One person passed. But it sounded a lot better to say 100% of the people passed it because you, you're thinking that's a lot of people just because you heard the number 100. 100% 100 just means, could just mean one. All it means is the whole, you see. 
I've done a hundred percent of my chores today. Depends on how many chores as to how you know how much that is. That doesn't tell you anything. You may only had one chore and you did it. Well, that's a hundred percent of them. You may have had a thousand chores and did it. Then that's really good to have done a hundred percent. You see what I mean? So you have to understand what those things mean. They don't tell you how many. They tell you how much of a whole. So you have to understand a fraction. It's a fraction of the whole. And you can divide, and people do. So now you're going to learn how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide them, but that's not how you use them a lot of times in life. A lot of times is for what I just said. You have to figure out, you know, uh, they're going to take out three-fifths of your pay. You know, or they're going to, you're going to get paid three-fifths of your pay, and they're going to take out one-fifth for this, and what you got to know, or, you, or they say you're paying one-fifth of your pay for rent. You know, is, is that all right? Well, you got four fifths left. That's quite a bit to be able to do something else. But you see what I mean? And if, if you tell me, if I say, how much do you pay for rent? And you tell me, oh, I pay one fifth of my earnings. Does that tell me how much money you pay? No. I have to first know what are your earnings. Because you can pay one fifth of your earnings for a house. And Jay-Z can pay one fifth of his earnings for a house. You can bet who's going to have a better house. <laughs> one fifth of mine might not is not going to buy as much as one fifth of his is going to buy. So anytime you get to hear that fraction, what you have to know is, and what you have to understand is, it doesn't have value until you know how what is the whole. Once you know what the whole